Hi, we are Nicole and Miko, a Canadian couple who have been traveling the world full time since March 2021. We have spent the past few months adventuring in Turkey, Jordan, Israel, and Palestine. And in our last video, we made our way to one of Jerusalem's most iconic sites shortly before racing to the airport and almost missing the flight to our next country, Egypt. Today in Cairo, we explore an ancient wonder of the world that has a history as vibrant and as engaging as its people. Hello. Canada. It's like a school, like field trip day or something. Welcome to Egypt. Oh my gosh. We're in Cairo in front of the pyramids and uh, like as soon as you get off the, the, uh, the taxi, it's just people are just Swarming. charging at you. Yeah. Like a, hello. <laughs> And uh, I think uh, all of Egypt is here today. Yes, all of the schools are here at least. Yeah, yeah. Like the kid uh, wants a photo of you. So the kids have all taken a liking to Nicole. And they want to take selfies with her. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Canada. 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 Looking good. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, we go. <laughs> Miko's been sworn because he offered selfies. Maybe not his best choice. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right. Okay. Holy. Welcome to Egypt. Hey, hey, run over. Hey, got it? No. We've we've held up the horse and carriage behind me because the kids want to take a photo with Nicole. This horse is just just full on stop. <laughs> They <laughs> love you. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. Bye, girl. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually exhausted. <laughs> I've only been here for 10 minutes. Oh my god, this thing. Nicole has been here before, so this is not her first time nah. seeing it. It's been like 11 years or something now. It's been a long time. It's been 11 years, and this is my first time, but 11 years, do you think the Sphinx looks different or? She still has no nose. Oh no. Shoot, what'd you do? I just, I just rolled my ankle. Oh, and I heard it pop. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, it's uh, not, not high. Wanted to start off exploring <laughs> the pyramids and the Giza Plateau. Over there, that, that little step right there that you can see, that's where he fell. Oh, I'm hurting for you because I know how much this must hurt if you're actually wincing. No, that's good. We're good. Okay. That's, there's a lot going on. Watch out, people. <laughs> to be fair, there's like a lot to look at, and the last thing you're looking at is your feet. You're just inundated with everything. <laughs> Shoot, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah? Yeah, let's go. I can bear weight. That's all I'll need for today. <laughs> it is honestly so cool. Like, I've been here before, and it's still so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Oh, I'm a celebrity. Yeah. I got some photos with some kids earlier you too. You did. I mean, that was to pretty be cool. fair, I think you had to ask for them. <laughs> I was like, why not me, guys? Why not take photos with me? I'm not gonna lie, it was I think an interesting choice doing like a lion body and like a head of a human. It's kind of like a strange combination. Well, I think it's supposed to be. Like, it's symbolism, right? Yeah. So the lion is like... To be yeah. feared. Yeah, to be feared. Yeah, okay, you heard that as well? And then the head is to be respected. Yeah, see? Symbolism. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Your> nose! <laughs> okay, 
Okay, come on. Oh That's what it looks like. God. <laughs> Where is the nose? In a museum somewhere. I don't remember which one. I, I believe it's in Egypt. I don't know why they displaced the nose from the face. I bet you the nose came off of the face and then so it went in a museum. I don't know. If you know, educate us. Tell us. I'd be interested to hear. Man, people get really creative taking photos with the, with the Sphinx. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. People are so creative. <laughs> People are trying to sell you a camel or a horse ride. Relentless. No better no worse than Petra, hey? I think yeah. It feels the same. I think it's pretty similar. Yeah. I know people are trying to prep you when you go to the pyramids to get ready. Yeah, get ready for the, the droves of yeah. people asking you for things, but it's not really it's any not different terrible, no. than what we've been to in the past. So. No, it's just gotta be firm. Yeah. Got a camel ride? No. Do you want one later? Firm. No. <laughs> Show zero interest. You don't even like photos. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to be here. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. No. No. We don't want one, thank you. No too much. You want a chic price. That's a pretty good view with the tuna sandwich. That's how you save money. Bringing your own lunch. Picnic lunch at the pyramids. Not a bad view, right? So, these pyramids are like 5,000, almost 5,000 years old, and um, they've been uh, slowly eroding away over the millennia. So originally, I think when it was built, it was white limestone on top and then degrading over the years, and only one of them has the top uh, limestone piece. You can kind of see it there. The pyramids were also um, built basically like lockers for the um, for the pharaohs that the, um, they belonged to so basically when the pharaoh died they kept all their belongings like favorite things favorite even favorite pets things like that put it all inside this pyramid and uh, the idea is that all the their favorite things and their body will meet them in the afterlife so pets yeah <laughs> anyone else hear that Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Also, importantly, how's that ankle? Oh my god. This uh, this might be the only set of pyramids we'll see today. <laughs> yeah. We were thinking about hitting up a few more places in Cairo today, uh, but I have a feeling that uh, this might be the only thing we do today. That's okay. We'll rest. You wanna come in? Oh, all right. All good? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to eat my lunch. I thought we were here to see the pyramids, but I guess there's a more popular attraction right there. A celebrity. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I think in my mind, I pictured the pyramids to be like in the middle of the desert, but they're literally like right behind like Giza or Cairo, right? Like literally. Pyramids, and then right there, Cairo. Across the street from the ticket office was a KFC. And Pizza Hut. And a Pizza Hut. So uh, yeah, you don't, you don't have to venture days in the desert to find the pyramids. About to rest the ankle, folks. You just Im imagine what it may have looked like back in the day when it was all covered in white limestone. It was originally thought that slaves built the pyramids. We, we read that it, the, the recent idea is actually that it wasn't slaves who built the pyramids because they are buried somewhere really lovely, very nearby. And the thought is that they wouldn't have buried the slaves close by and treated them well in their death if they were slaves. I don't know. It was aliens. Guys, aliens built the pyramids. These are mammoth structures. It looks like it's like a piece is like hanging off the top. Very tippy top. Yeah. See might, that, right? It might fall sometime in the next few millennia. Few centuries. That's good. Guys, I think a, I think a camel just snuck up on us. Wow. You know, it's a pretty hot day today. It's nice to find a little bit of shade. It's a good thing that somebody put this massive <laughs> pyramid here. 
There's just no shade in the desert, There's folks. No shade at all. Goodness, but... someone built this big shade machine. This is very convenient. <laughs> the scale of it just kind of washes away when you get right up to it. But then when we were driving here from like Cairo, you can see it from so far away. Yeah. Hello, thank you. Video? Yeah, video. Oh, we're not video yet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that. There's a guard here. I heard about this. I'd read it online that they'll say, oh, no video. And you're allowed to take videos here. And that they want like money because to allow you to continue to take video. So, and he said we could go up and climb on the pyramids, which you've also heard about, that the guards will let you go up. Um, it's just obviously expected that after you climb up a bit, um, you give them a little tip for letting you go out. I think we're good. I don't really want to stand on the ancient monument. <laughs> Seems sacrilegious. <laughs> Should we go inside? Try and find the entrance? We want to go inside one of these pyramids. We don't even know which one we're supposed to go into. Thank you so much. Success. Khufu's, which is the big one, the Great Pyramid, is that guy. Oh. Let's go. And that one? It ain't this one. <laughs> Limping over here. Those horse rides are getting more and more tempting. Just climbing the pyramid, no big deal. to go inside of the big pyramid. You can do a little one as well, and it's a little less many. We just thought, how often are the pyramids? Okay. This is tiny. These stairs aren't really stairs. They're like, I don't even know if you consider this a ladder. Because I'm a little scared people are going to fall. Hot and stuffy in here. I guess ventilation wasn't really uh, required when you're uh, building a mausoleum for yourself. You know what the bigger problem is? There's people trying to come down when we go up. Oh, that was one way. Nope. It's like, I feel like we entered like a humid country. It's kind of gross. It's like something's, it sounds like something's like molding. Yeah. Or like the rotting wood. or something. I think it's the wood. Like this is like the wood for like the banisters is like like it feels soft. is actually much bigger than like the entrance ways to get in here. So they say that the sarcophagus was placed here first and then the pyramids were like built around it. That is wild. That is wild. Also it's like super hot in here. It's like a sauna. I'm actually so humid. Like I feel like I'm in like a, yeah, like the sauna, like a... Turkish bath. Yeah. It's gross. So this thing... Is there little hole in the wall right here leads to the outside of the pyramid and it was built so that the pharaoh's soul could actually exit the pyramid oh, that's cool. through this tiny little hole here so from the sarcophagus over there soul transfers and moves into the hole and out the pyramids it's super cool i think when they found it it was filled with like the pharaoh's belongings and like lots of like gold and like expensive things obviously all that's been taken out today and it's just like a really big like room. Okay, it's seriously hot and humid. Should we go? Let's go. <gasps> this place! Awesome. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a big question. No, it's a little too much. <laughs> okay. No more photo. 
sign next to people and have photos? But like arms and heads and no, mm, a little too far for me. Well guys, I can tell you, after being famous for a day, it sucks. <laughs> the paparazzi, just, you just can't escape them. <laughs> All right, well, I think, uh, I think it's been a long day. Miko's foot is still broken, so. And Nicole is tired of being a celebrity, so. I'm over that. <laughs> I think we're gonna end off our day here. It's been an awesome tour of it the pyramids. Amazing. There's lots to do here. More than just the pyramids, but the people have been very engaging. Very entertaining. We've been very <laughs> entertained today. So I think we'll end it off there. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, we'll and, catch uh, you in the next one. We'll see you next time. Yeah, pretty neat. How are the sounds? <laughs> <laughs> over here, they're very overwhelming. And things like that. So yeah. Everybody wants to take a photo, uh, no. so we gotta go. <laughs> no, we gotta go. <laughs> Seriously, like, that is, a, that is a sticky experience. You come out sticky, it's moist in there. Even if, like, it, yeah. You're just gonna be sticky. Get ready for sticky. It's kind of a lot. It adds to the experience. Why are you shaking your head at me? Less use of the word sticky. <laughs> Why? <laughs> sticky. <laughs> <laughs>